Yo, 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 what's up, comic book reading universe? It is I, your friendly neighborhood comic book reviewer, Steven Savelli, and I'm here today to bring to you my comic book haul for comics that were released on October 29th, 2014. Today is an incredibly light day of comics for me. Kind of bums me out, but I'm kind of happy because this might give me a chance to catch up on a lot of my books because I've been backed up since... I got married to my beautiful wife, so um, hopefully this week I will catch up a little bit more and I can start doing my comic book reviews because I know you guys miss it. And I really miss doing my comic book reviews because to be honest, I like doing that more than my haul because I do full in-depth reviews and it's just, it's why I started this channel. My first like five videos were strictly comic book reviews, so. Um, before we get into my comic book haul, of course, I want to give another friendly reminder for our 250 subscribers contest. Um, you know, one of the prizes I'm giving away, uh, I just want to show off here. It's a Groot Funko Guardians of the Galaxy Pop Vinyl. Um, this is a free giveaway in the subscribers contest. Plus, there's many more stuff. So, remember, I got the link right here if you want to click on this annotation and... I have the link in the description down below. Um, there's multiple ways to enter. You can make a video to answer the questions. You could do something as simple as leave a comment or you can go like our Facebook page and leave a comment there. But yeah, lots of free giveaways. I'm super excited. So make sure to go and participate. A big shout out to Adam Day, Collector's Edge, and I think it's Twy-Sparkle or TWI. Dash Sparkle um, for making video entries. Those are super fun to watch. I really enjoy um, not just reading the comments, but actually watching the people that follow and comment on the channel. And I love supporting you guys. So special shout out to you guys. Um, next up thing I want to talk about is this Saturday. I want to do another live nerd swag nerd chat. Um, and I want it to be 100% focused on the new Marvel announcements of their their Phase 3 slate and all the movies they did announce like Captain Marvel, Black Panther, those ones are really exciting to me. Um, the Infinity War, all that kind of stuff. I want to have a live nerd chat. Um, I have an idea of somebody I want to co-host with me, but I want a third person to jump, jump on screen with us and have a fun conversation about the upcoming movies. If you are interested in joining me for a Nerd Swag Nerd Chat, leave a comment down below or send me an email. My email is down below in the description. Or if you want to suggest somebody to me that I should message to join me for that, leave that, leave their channel link down below in the comments. That'd be super cool. But yeah, looking forward to doing a Nerd Swag Nerd Chat this weekend and talking about Marvel movies. Craziness. Um, and if you'd like us, I guess, to cover off any, any other topics, leave those down below in the comments. I'm sure I can squeeze those in. I love talking nerdy stuff with all of you guys. So, let's jump into my comic, Paul, comic book haul. As a reminder, at the end, I always do my favorite cover of the week and my most anticipated title of the week. This week, I just have four comics. I haven't had four comics in years. Like, I, I don't remember buying only four comics. So, um, yeah. Very interesting. I'm going to start off with the one I'm least excited about, and that is Batman Eternal, issue number 30 from DC Comics. This is the midway point um, for Batman Eternal, and it's uh, the mid midway finale kind of a deal. So um, this is a very important issue. Like I've said multiple times, I'm not caught up in Batman Eternal. Um, I hear some good. I hear some bad. I hear more bad than I hear good. So I'm going to get caught up all the way on Batman Eternal. Read issue number 30. If I'm not digging this issue, I'm dropping this title at the halfway point. Um, it sounds rough to do to, to buy 30 issues of something and give up on it, but um, yeah, it's it's been a good experiment, experiment to, to read a weekly title of Batman. Um, this has been the least favorite Batman title I have read, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to catching up and seeing if this is worth purchasing for another 30-ish weeks. So that's Batman -y Turtle, issue number 30. What I can say is this is a pretty cool cover. All right, my next issue that I'm gonna talk about, I'm actually gonna give a free digital code away. Um, and there will be some trivia for you to win a free digital copy. And this issue is Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 20. Huh, huh? 
free giveaway, free giveaway, both Guardians. Anyways, this all ties together. There's a grand master plan. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy, issue number 20, written by Brian Michael Bennis. We continue to have um, the original Sin story going on. I, I don't want to give too much away, um, but there's some Thanos, there's some Drax, there's some Star-Lord, there's some stuff going down here, and um, this seems to be a pretty cool issue. Uh, if you're interested in just seeing what's going on with Guardians of the Galaxy, um, the free digital copy code, I'm going to give it away. The trivia is right here. The first person to answer down below in the comments the original members of the first Guardians of the Galaxy team. First person to do that, leave it down below in the comments. I will give you a free digital code. I'll shoot you a personal message. You can download, download this for free on your Marvel app, on your iPad, your iPhone, your Android device, any of those things. Um, I will hook you up with that. Just make sure to leave that comment down below. Um, and as a bonus, you could put which issue they um, first appeared in. That'd be super cool. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy. I still love this title. I'm a huge fan of, of Guardians. Um, I was, a, I was a big fan before the movies came out, and, uh, this title's been pretty good by Brian Michael Bendis, and, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So, I've been enjoying reading this, this, um, original Sin tie-in, because we're getting some backstory that we missed out on, um, that Nova was a part of as well. So, very, very cool stuff. That's my only Marvel comic this week, guys. I'm usually a Marvel fanboy, and that's the most comics I get are from Marvel. But my next two comics are from Image Comics. The first one is Low, issue number four. This is written by Rick Remender. Um, and this continues to be a very stunning book. Um, I really like... Let me see if there's anything. This is a mature book, so I want to make sure that I'm not showing anything inappropriate. I'm trying to have a, a PG channel here, but... This is what the art looks like. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty vibrant. It's, it's, um, there's something, it's just gritty. There's something gritty about it. I, I really enjoy, enjoy reading low. Um, it's like, uh, I can't even explain the story, except it's a, you gotta pick it up. If you like science fiction, you like underwater stories, that kind of thing, you gotta pick it up. Really cool art. I really like the colors. Um, and yeah, that's this is low issue number four. The first issue kind of was okay to me. Um, and since then, I've really enjoyed reading issue two and three. So I'm looking forward to reading issue number four. And the last book I got this week is Southern Bastards, issue number five. This is written by Jason Aaron with art by Jason Latour. And... I don't want to say this is my favorite image book, but I will say that it is one of my favorites and be and it's rising up the list pretty quickly. Um, it's only on issue number five, but I this is one of my seriously high recommends. If you could go get the first four issue trade paperback, I definitely would. Um, it's worth catching up on, and I wish I had digital, free digital codes in, in of. Southern Bastards that I can give away to you guys so you guys can check it out, but this is a really good book. Um, it's based on a story in the state of Alabama in the United States, um, and it's about just what it's titled, Southern Bastards. It's about a small town where the town's run by the football coach, and he kind of um, intimidates the whole town into doing what he wants, and uh, there's one guy that stands up for himself. And that's what the first four issues are about. And there's a huge surprise at the end of issue number four. Like, a giant cliffhanger. And now Southern Bastards has been gone for a few months. And it's back, picking, picking up after that cliffhanger. And it's shocking uh, what the cliffhanger is. And it's, it's weird to be shocked in the first four issues of a book. But uh, it definitely ends strongly. And uh, this issue picks back up with the backstory of the football coach. His name's Coach Boss. And, um... Yeah, really, really good stuff. That's it this week, guys. I apologize that it's only four issues, but uh, that's why I'm looking to hopefully bring you some extra content this Saturday with a Nerd Swag Nerd Chat. So, like I said earlier, if you want to participate, hit me up. Uh, send me a message, an email, a comment down below, uh, and hopefully I look forward to hearing from you guys to see if you want to join me for a Nerd Chat talking about Marvel movies. 
um, and what we think and hope for. So I'm going to go over my cover and most anticipated title of the week. And actually, with all my... Oh, sorry. I never I never predetermine these. I like looking at them on the, mid, on the time that I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with it. Especially because it's around Halloween time, I'm gonna go with Batman Eternal. This is a really cool imagery here. Um, I like I like the blocked looking Batman. Reminds me of um, uh, Dark Knight Batman and uh, yeah, cool cool skull here. Very Halloweeny. So this is my cover of the week and my most anticipated title of the week. Should come as no surprise. Southern Bastards issue number five. I've read it already. I can't go more than ten minutes without wanting to read. Southern Bastards when I get it in my hands, and this issue lived up to my expectations. And I'm still loving that book. Jason Aaron is destroying it. He is right in his groove with that comic. That's my cover of the week. That's my most anticipated title of the week. As always, everyone, please leave down below in the comments your favorite cover of the week and your most anticipated title. Um, like I said, Last week, I love going and looking at the, the covers that you say are awesome because I don't read every book, obviously. I only bought four this week, and I really don't even see all the books. Um, I go in, I get my poll, and uh, I might skim the books, but, you know, I don't pull them out of the shelf and really look at them. So, if you could leave your cover of the week, that'd be cool. As a reminder, 250 subs contest, giving away a bunch of fun stuff. Thanks for everyone. We, we've had... Um, probably 30 something entries so that's very exciting um, I'm I'm loving the fact that I can give back to you guys and just as a big thank you for supporting our channel um, we're over 310 already I think we're at like 314 as of making this video and you guys are awesome so thank you so much I really look forward to bringing you guys new new and more exciting content and I will see you guys next Wednesday hopefully or Thursday, for my comic book haul, it will be the same Nerd Swag time. We'll see about that. But definitely the same Nerd Swag channel. Adios.